Hi, this is Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking, and today I'm going to talk about the skill level that you need to trek to Mount Everest Base Camp. Okay, so you want to trek to Mount Everest Base Camp. A lot of our guests ask us about how difficult the trek is in, into Mount Everest Base Camp. They can compare it to Kilimanjaro or maybe Machu Picchu and the different treks that we offer. The trek to Mount Everest Base Camp is strenuous. We do trek village to village, usually about five or six miles a day, but there are some significant differences. On Kilimanjaro, you trek for seven days and on the fifth night, you go to 19,300 feet, and then you come way back down off the mountain, spend one more night, and back off the climb. On our trek to Mount Everest Space Camp, it's a longer duration of time. You're gonna be trekking for 15 days. The trails are all very wide. Uh, it's very comfortable to make your way up the valley. You wanna listen to your guide. You wanna move slowly and make sure you're hydrating well. Um, Age-wise, you know, children as young as 10 years old can make the Everest Space Camp trek. It really depends on if they want to or not. When they are that young, it's important that they've done some, you know, looking at pictures and you've gotten them excited for the trip and they have to be motivated to do it themselves. We have had a number of people that are 65 and even older that make the trek into Everest Base Camp because our strategy is village to village very slowly and very comfortably along the way. You're also gonna have built into our strategy and our schedule a couple of days where you do double days, where you stay for two nights at the same tea house. So on night number two on your trek, you're going to arrive at Namche Bazaar, 11,500 feet. Perfectly good time to spend two nights at the same tea house for acclimatization. We typically get the groups up, have breakfast, and after breakfast, you know, we're wanting to think all the time about hydration and nutrition, making sure people are well hydrated so they're acclimatizing, avoiding headaches and that kind of thing. You're spending another double day when you get up to about 16,000 feet in Farishe. This is another critical time to let the body acclimatize. On that next day, we have more of a free day. We use it as an acclimatization day. And then we make our way from there, Lobache to Gorakshep into base camp and then all the way back out. If you've got any concerns about making your trek into Mount Everest Base Camp, please contact us directly. Happy to answer questions about your personal abilities, your age, your concerns, and help you uh, make a decision and help you get comfortable for your trek so you can have a safe and successful trek into Mount Everest Base Camp.